Hi, this is Dr. David Green, CEO of R3 Stem Cell. Today's topic is what is actually in PRP? PRP stands for platelet-rich plasma. It's a very, very common treatment used now in regenerative medicine. And there's a significant amount of confusion between stem cell therapy and PRP therapy. Now, both of them are effective, but they do both sort of need a definition. So let's start with PRP. All right, so what happens in PRP is that a simple blood draw is taken from a person's arm. And it may be 30 cc's, it may be 60 cc's, but essentially the blood is taken and it's put either into some sort of a test tube or a kit, and that goes into a machine called a centrifuge that spins around very rapidly for 12 to 15 minutes. All right, and what you end up with are three separate layers of material. And here they are. Excuse my spelling, it's very bad, my writing. Um, but you end up with, uh, let's say this is a test tube. The top layer is called platelet-poor plasma. It has very few cells in it. It's straw-colored, kind of yellowish, okay? And it's not going to help you by getting injected into your arthritic knee or whatnot. So that part is just discarded, all right? Let me skip down to the bottom layer, which is mostly, it's red, and it's mostly red blood cells. Red blood cells are very helpful in life, but not so much in tissue regeneration, so that's discarded as well, okay? What's really important here is the middle layer, and that's called the Buffy coat, B-U-F-F-Y. And it's a very small percentage of the total, okay? And what's in there are concentrated platelets, concentrated growth factors, and white blood cells. Okay, so effectively, there's no stem cells in there, but that's okay, because what you end up with is growth factors not only help your tissue to repair and regenerate, but they also help communicate, and they communicate with your body. Let's say the uh, PRP is placed into your arthritic knee. They help tell the rest of your body, hey, we need some help here. They pull in some stem cells, so it's a stem cell activation treatment, as well as helping directly with the problem. So PRP therapy is not stem cell therapy. It's stem cell activation therapy. So it's very effective at recruiting your own body's stem cells in addition to helping in and of itself. It has about seven growth factors in it, as opposed to, let's say, amniotic fluid stem cell therapy, which has about 70 to 80 but those seven can be very effective. All right, there you have it. There's a definition of PRP therapy. Visit us at r3stemcell.com today. We have a lot of information on our site with videos and an online library. And there's also a physician locator so you can find treatment for you or your loved one. Thank you for watching.